Judy, the day began with the playing of several recorded phone conversations between former Speaker Mike Madigan and defendant Mike McLean. The recordings meant to continue last week's effort to establish both men, not just as good friends who often dine together, but to establish McLean as Madigan's go-to man who would handle all sorts of political errands and disputes for Madigan, leading large corporations like ComEd to hire the lobbyist when they needed. Madigan's attention. On day four of the so-called Comed 4 trial, the conversation finally began to move on from last week's examination of former House Speaker Michael Madigan's power and on to Comed itself. Testimony today painting a picture of a utility company in dire straits on the verge of bankruptcy as it emerged in 2006 from an eight-year period of frozen rates that left it unable to meet its commitments or to upgrade its system, leading executives and their lobbyists to to go to Springfield in search of legislation that would allow it to set the formula customers were to be charged, along with later amendments. Current ComEd executive Scott Vogt identifying the four defendants' roles in that process today, saying of then COO Anne Pramajori, she pretty much ran the show, adding that John Hooker was in charge of in-house lobbying, while Mike McLean was the company's chief independent lobbyist because Mr. McLean was very well connected with the Speaker of the House, Michael Madigan. Jay Doherty was also a lobbyist for ComEd, according to Vogt, one he met years later during another legislation push. Now, all of this setting the testimony, setting up for the testimony of Assistant Majority Leader State Representative Bob Rita, who just took the stand a few minutes ago. He is expected to speak to his role as co-sponsor of one of the bills in question during this trial. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.